Okay, we got the brand new Viofo A329, and guess what? It has SSD support. So now you can actually take a portable SSD, and all you need is a cable that plugs right into the side here, and allows you to plug directly in to your solid state drive. So we went and got a one terabyte drive so we could actually do some testing with this and show you how it works. We paired it quite easily. We're gonna show you the process involved with that and how we actually were able to plug it in to a Mac computer. It worked fine. And I plugged it directly into my iPhone 16 Pro Max with no issues. Okay, so the first step is to actually identify the USB-C port on the side of the Viofo A329 and take your cable for the solid state drive and plug it into that port. And then what you wanna do is plug in your solid state drive. We chose the SanDisk solid state drive. We are using a one terabyte drive for this demonstration. We plug it in and you will see the screen is gonna immediately prompt for the SSD needs to be formatted. Do you want to format now? All data will be erased. erased. It's formatting the external SSD card and it's successfully formatted. The next thing it's going to ask you is whether or not you want all your recordings to record to the external SSD. I go and I select yes. And basically what ends up happening is now all the recordings are going direct to the external SSD. Okay, so now that we figured out the SSD and got it recording on the Viofo dash camera, there's three different ways to retrieve the video information from the solid state drive. One, you can plug it in to your computer through the USB port and access the videos, just like you would if you took an SD card out of a VOFO dash camera, plugged it into the computer and did that. Number two, you can actually take the cable directly from this the SSD and plug it into your phone. I have an iPhone 16 Pro Max. It will also work on the iPhone 15 Pro Max because they have USB-C inputs. Just make sure you're using a USB 3.0 cable. You can plug it in and access the videos. And the file folders are exactly the same as you would see on a computer or on your phone. And last but not least, you can use Wi-Fi, pair directly to the dash camera, and then it will ask you whether or not you want to access the micro SD card or the solid state drive. You just simply choose the solid state drive, go in, find the video you want and download it directly to your phone. Okay, so now that we know how to actually download videos from our SSD and get it onto our phone or our Mac or, or however you want to actually get your videos. Well, basically a couple things I want to bring up here. Viofo does offer a 1.8 meter cable and this is going to be nice because you can plug it into the side of the unit and you should be able to run it down your a pillar and hopefully hide it in the glove box or in the side panel on the side of your dash somewhere along the lines where it is hidden and not easily accessible as ariel from vortex radar brought up on his review is you know if someone was to break into your vehicle and steal your dash camera at least you're not going to lose everything because if it is recording directly to the portable ssd drive then at least that would most likely be left behind which means you'll be able to retrieve some critical information over what happened. And hopefully you have a battery pack that's gonna help your dash camera record while park for long periods of time, because that's probably why you got a very big solid state drive to begin with. Now, the other thing is, is when I did, I did grill Viofo a few, uh, well, about a month back right now when I knew that this was coming out and I knew that these specs were coming out on this dash camera. And the big thing that we see when people are buying like an A229 Pro or an A139 Pro is people are buying different SD cards than what Viofo recommends. And I will tell you this, they did tell me specifically that the SanDisk was recommended, which is why I went on my way to get a one terabyte SanDisk and it paired quite easily. Now, it'll be interesting to see what other SSDs people try and what their experiences are, but for right now, I would recommend sticking with SanDisk. Personally, as I've seen, it was a very flawless and clean integration. And always make sure that you have a USB 3.0 USB 3 rated cable. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again.